If you guys want to get some awesome teams and guaranteed class players, make sure you go and check out FootCoinKing.com. Their link is down below. And if you use discount code B87, you get an extra 6% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another squad builder by myself Bates and 87. Originally this was going to be a different video but because the upgrades were released at 8pm UK time yesterday I thought I would do a um, an upgraded squad builder for you. It's going to feature every single player who is, uh, well not going to feature all 134 players but it's going to feature 11 players which are upgraded and I'm going to put some alternatives in there if you want to change the team around. Now if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes to try your luck on packs and try and get some of these upgraded players make sure you check out G2A.com, their link is down below in the description and if we can try and hit over 4,000 likes with Squad Builder, guys, that would be absolutely awesome. So, I could have easily done a full BPL Squad Builder. I could have done a full French Squad Builder, but that's not the way I roll. So, this team is going to be a little bit of a hybrid, and it's going to feature some decent players in it as well. In the goalkeeper position, we start off in the Bundesliga, and we go with upgraded Farman. As you can see, Farman there doesn't save anything, so we put the 79 rated Farman in, and guess what? He actually saves stuff. It's ridiculous. In the centre back position, we do go with Boateng, the upgraded version. Obviously, he was the most expensive player um, in this team, actually, which was quite annoying for a centre back. But I don't mind paying for players which I am going to use for the foreseeable. And as you know, I am a Bundesliga freak and I absolutely love Boateng. In the left back position, we go with Bundesliga again and we go with a cheap Bayern alternative to Alaba and it is Burn that. Upgraded from a silver to a gold, 76 rated. In the CDM position, we go with one of my favourite. Um, one of my favourite CDMs in the game, and it is Alonso, upgraded from an 84 to an 85. I didn't see that one coming. I don't know if you guys did see that one coming, um, but it's a nice one anyway. So at, le at least two of these players already, Boateng and Alonso, will be uh, used in like my sweat teams and stuff when I'm playing away from YouTube. In the centre-back position, on the, the right-hand side, we move to the BPL. Now, the BPL has a few decent upgraded centre-backs. Well, I does it... I may have one or two. It's, I know it's got upgraded uh, Gabriel. There is a silver version of him as well. But there's upgraded Koscielny, who I did manage to pack earlier. You can put him in there. But we wanted to try out the fresh, new, four-star skill German centre-back for Liverpool, which is Emre Can. Uh, 79 pace on centre-back, not that bad. Is he the worst centre-back I've ever used on the game? Easily. And that wasn't me tr trying to do skills with him. That was just his positioning and everything. It was horrendous. In the right-back position, we do go with uh, Klein as well. Southampton upgraded from a silver to a gold also. 76 rated. And then in the CDM position, we actually go with a silver. And this is to get the chemistry. And it is Cochlin. Cochlin, sorry. Um, there is another version of him. I think it's a different position. I may be wrong, but I know it is uh, a lower rated one than this. And then we go to the French style of the players to finish off this team. And if you guys do actually build it, let me know what you think of it. In the camp position, we go with upgraded Pogba, which is from an 83 to an 84. Uh, we go with him, um, not there. I don't, I, I don't really like building teams in this formation. It's very all over the place. In the middle, we do go with uh, upgraded Payet and also a position change from a left mid to a cam. And then to finish off the trio of French cams, if I can get up there, uh, we do have Feke. We absolutely love Feke. The silver version was good. His informed version was good. And uh, now he's gone and got himself a standard 75 rated card. Um, and obviously, you can tell who we're going to put up in the striker position, guys. And that is none other than the upgraded. Lacazette jumping quite uh, do we have his normal card in the club um, he's jumped up I, I, he's jumped to like three positions maybe four maybe four I think it was a 78 or something before that um, but he's jumped up and he's the second most expensive player in the team no he's not he's what he's actually the third because Pogba is worth a shit ton now if you guys did invest in any of the informed versions of Fikir uh, Lacazette Pogba um, who else who else yeah that's about it and maybe even Payet you might have made yourself some money so well done to you guys now if you guys want to see any more squad builders with any of the other upgraded players let me know in the comments section below which ones to use and I'll aim to do them in the future if if you're new to the channel, drop a subscription, drop a like rating on the video and let me know if you've been managed to able to pull any of the upgraded players from packs. and uh, because it's like quite early now, on in the morning now, I'm going to be getting rid of them before they do plummet down in price. So until next time, let's go and have a look at the highlights and see how we did with the team. So the team itself played alright in attack. Defence was a bit all over the shop. The reason that was is mainly down to Emre Khan. He still thinks the guy is a CDM, which is quite annoying. But if you guys want to get, I don't know, a little bit of nostalgia playing with the first four star, I don't even he is the first four star uh, skilled centre back, but he is he is all right if you're trying to dig off them skill runs and clips. Now the players which stand out the most and the players which will probably drop in price are. 
uh, Fekir, uh, I keep saying, I know I'm saying his name wrong, Fekir, Payet, and uh, definitely Lacazette. Them three are very tricky in the box. Get, it got me a few penalties in the highlights we did get as well. Um, obviously, I didn't show you the penalties because Alonso put them all in and we would have a clip of about seven penalties. Um, but Payet, Pogba, and Fekir, I'll probably, if I was you guys, I'd probably end up changing. Um, actually, I'll see if I can change. Uh, this is gone to fuck. Um, I was trying to ch change it to see if I could change Fekir and Payet round to see if it actually made any difference uh, with the team, uh, with the chemistry. And the reason that was is I didn't really like Fekir on the uh, on the outside. And yeah, you can. If you want to change them, guys, you can change Payet and Fekir round and you probably have a lot more clinical finishing. But Payet um, is good. Lacazette is ridiculous. Finishing wise, strength not so much, but he is a tricky striker to play with and play against. Now, um, if you into silvers, obviously we had Cochrane in the team. He is pretty good. I paid 30, was it 30,000 coins for him? Yeah, 36,000 coins. Pretty good. MA can. Definitely not worth the money if you're going to pay for him unless he goes for around discard. You've got Klein as well. He is uh, pretty ridiculous for a right back. Very fast, very attacking as well and got involved with uh, Pogba on the right-hand side. And uh, Alonso, Bernat and also Boateng. Uh, really, really good. But obviously, if you want to, guys, I would definitely pay the money you're going to end up forking out for Alaba as he is a lot better left back than Bernat is. And Farman, he was actually very surprisingly good. Um, the saves he were pulling off were ridiculous. Obviously, you can see we conceded a few goals, which was quite annoying but that was mainly down to the positioning of the defenders but Farman was pulling off some ridiculous saves which I uh, didn't expect him to do because last time we used him he was pretty shit and uh, I know you, a lot of you guys do prefer Leno to Farman and I'm usually one of them as well but I might give him another chance and see how we do. So guys if you enjoyed this squad builder drop a like rate and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and uh, let me know if you've got any of them upgraded players in packs. Until next time see you all later have a very very nice day.